Hello friends, I am Dr. Syed Khadiruddin Chishti and I am teaching physics to the DSC second year students. My today's topic is energy versus wave vector graph. Energy versus wave vector relationship. And after explaining this, we will study the brillion zone in one dimension and the brillion zone in two dimension. So we know the equation, this equation which we obtained in the Croning penny model as p sin alpha a upon alpha a plus cos alpha a is equal to cos k a. Now this equation it can take a precise value for every allowed energy state energy value e. Means if cos k a is replaced by means the there if I introduce a period for k k is incremented by 2 pi by a then what will happen? It is seen that the value of cos k a will remain unchanged, it will remain stable. What does it mean? It means that the k has, it has the period of 2 pi by a, 2 pi by a. So if I plot a graph of energy versus the period as, as a function of 0, pi by a, interval of pi by a, 2 pi by a, 3 pi by a, 4 by a, similarly minus pi by a minus. So we can see that the energy will go on decreases when we come to the origin and again it will increase. On both the side it will increase. It means that the value of k can take the value plus minus n pi by a where the value of n may be plus one plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on means the value of k will determine the boundaries of the brillion zone so what is this brillion zone if i take this straight line and here is the 0 pi by a 2 pi by a 3 pi by a minus pi by a minus 2 pi by a minus 3 pi by a so if i take the interval from minus pi by a to plus pi by a it is called as the first brillion zone first brillion zone now if I take the value from either from pi by a to 2 pi by a or on the opposite side minus pi by a to minus 2 pi by a it is called as a second brillion zone it is called as second brillion zone okay now if I take the value from minus from 2 pi by a to 3 pi by a means from this value to 3 pi by a 3 pi by a then it is called as the third brillion zone third brillion zone on this side as well as third brillion zone on the opposite side from minus 2 pi by a to plus 2 so this is the brillion zone in the one dimension so in two dimension the value of k will be divided into two parts that is kx and ky means along the x-axis and along the y-axis so discontinuity of k will occur at n plus n pi upon a plus minus n pi a and ky also occur at plus minus n pi upon a. So for the first zone we can say that the value of kx is from minus pi by a to plus pi by a. Similarly here value of ky for the first zone is minus pi by a to minus to pi by a plus pi by a. Now for the second zone I will take here minus 2 pi by a kx is equal to a between plus 2 pi by a. So if I take the kx along the x-axis and ky along the y-axis, here are the interval pi by a, 0, minus pi by a, pi by a, 2 pi by a on both the sides. So I will make the boundary as pi by a plus and minus pi by a. I will take the boundary of this one, means this part and this is called as the first brillion zone it is called as the first brillion zone first zone means the total part now for the second brillion zone i will join this one means the value of ky is from minus 2 pi by a to plus 2 pi by a means this one will be the second brillion zone so we can say that this one these lines will represent the second brillion zone And for the third brillion zone, I will take this value from minus 2 pi by a 
to plus 2 pi by a on this side also, on this side also, and on this side also. Okay. So these lines means I will make it shaded part. So these lines will be the third Bayesian zone. It is called the third Bayesian zone. So outermost is the third, and this one is the second, and the inner one is the first Bayesian zone in the two dimension. Thank you.